Well, I was sure that we would have babies by now. I was sure that, sure that Freckles was having babies tonight or today. That's not Freckles. <laughs> That's a feeder. We gotta get him moved. Get him put somewhere where he can get more feed. Both of these girls here, I'm pretty sure, are pregnant. Ruby, red one on the right. She's got to be getting close. I mean, that belly hanging down there. That's Quasimodo that just walked across there. There's Sausage. I just don't think she's pregnant. I'm not sure she's capable. Deuce on the other side of her. Well, there's Freckles there. And she's hanging low. So's that one there. I think that's Boss Hog. Might be many. No, that's Boss Hog. We're gonna have baby pigs running out of our ears here before long. There's Deuce. <clears throat> Deuce is a big boy. All right. So. Okay, well. No baby pigs yet, so. Guess I better get on with my chores. Okay. Buddy Love and Well Done have been reunited. It's like we got love in the air. So, looks like we timed it pretty good. She's already stood for him once. Oh. Just hope he don't overheat himself out here in his heat. You know, he's trying. I'm sure he'll get the job done. Okay, we've got some sp Sprouting going on here. Two, three, four. Yeah. Looks like corn to me. So we'll see how this works. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have found something. Er, yeah. We now know something. I'm pretty sure. But this premier one netting don't stop armadillos me and ethan came out here earlier and these two posts right here were knocked down flat laying over into the pen we wasn't sure what it was at that time well i came out here a bit ago to feed these guys and water them and gather eggs and come around here to put water in and while I was bent over to open that up I looked under there and there was a big old armadillo laying under that crab apple tree ugh not a fan of armadillos <clears throat> but I'm sure he'd been in there since last night so it makes me pretty sure Generally speaking, they don't eat chickens. So, I guess that's a good thing. But, so, we dealt with him. My egg haul tonight. Six. They used to do better. I think they're getting older. And I don't think those one chickens I bought are laying yet. What's left of them? So anyway, good 
Rhonda's cantaloupe. She just planted uh, two weeks ago or less. Tomato plants. Doing pretty good for not being in the ground that long. Or not been planted. So. Alright, I'm going to finish this video up. See that beautiful sky back there? My crooked clothesline. Anyway, we're on pig watch here, baby pig watch. Uh, could be any time now. And, you know, folks, I know if you're watching this channel, you're probably already aware of all this. Or you're aware of what I'm about to say. Something's not right in our country. I mean, I mentioned about the, the creamery the other day. That's a Missouri thing there. Uh, kind of a big scary looking bug. But anyway, you know, that, that's a Missouri thing. But I, I think it goes beyond Missouri. Uh, just in this point in time, Americans should be the most educated, most capable people on the face of the earth. Now, you know, I know why we're not. Uh, I mean, there's lots and lots of reasons. Uh, people you know, they're looking for the easy way. You know, instead of growing your own food, you go out and buy it at the grocery store. And it, you know, takes up less of your time. And I understand. I mean, I, I'm still buying more from the grocery store than I want to be. And that's my fault. So, you know, but you can pick up your phone and just like you're watching this on YouTube probably and uh, you can learn anything right now and I do mean anything you know you can learn how to grow things how to you know how to can things all kinds just anything you want to know it's out there you know it, it's it's crazy and I got some mud on the end of my nose. Huh. I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, I'll quit looking at my nose. And I hope y'all won't look at it too much. But it just, you know, amazes me how little we know. You know, and we think we're smart, you know. It's, you know, my, my grandparents on both sides lived in tar paper shacks, basically. That's where my dad was raised. Uh, both of my grandfathers were disabled. You know. So, you know, they, they grew up in poverty. But... The most impoverished person in this country has it as good as they did. I mean, there's a lot of homelessness in, the, in this country, and there's no excuse for that. But, you know, I know things happen. Things happen. You get, you know, sometimes they're out of your control, sometimes you make mistakes. And we all make mistakes. I understand all that, but there's no reason to stay there. You know, just. But anyway, I want to talk about, don't want to talk about that. <laughs> because it's just, you know. Anyway, if you don't already, you might want to think about growing you some kind of vegetables or something. You can, you can pick up a five-gallon bucket and that'll grow a tomato plant. You know, at least 
you know and like i said i feel like i'm preaching to the choir here because most of the people that watch my videos already do all that stuff they're doing a better job at it than i am but if you are watching this video and you aren't doing something like that i encourage you to there are tough times coming and I would love to be wrong. I absolutely would love to be wrong. And uh, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll come back on. Okay, yeah, my phone's being crazy here. I don't know what's going on with it. But I was saying that I'd love to be wrong about tough times. I just don't think I am. And if I am wrong, I'll come back on here and let you all know. Uh, I, I see things happening that just aren't right. Uh, when you go to a grocery store in the United States of America, and I've been in, in, in a Walmart, okay? Walmart. The, quite possibly the largest retailer in the United States of America. And they're having trouble getting bacon. They can't keep bacon. What's going on? There's not a run on bacon. You know, what, what's going on here? I mean, I've been in two different Walmarts within a day of each other, and they have been out of all but the most expensive bacon, and there wasn't very much of that. something's wrong you know and beef is going to be cheap here before long because all these farmers having to sell sell all their beef cattle and you know they're not just selling the, the steers like they usually do usually what gets sold is steers and, and the, the cows that have aged out you know they're selling the heifers too. And it's, it's going to cause a glut right here shortly. You know, beef may get real cheap this winter, but next year it's going to go through the roof because, you know, there's not going to be that much. There's some, I, I, you know, there's some folks hanging on, and, and hopefully it'll be enough. And I'm hoping that, that there's some people that have been getting the right amount of rain, not the floods. I feel sorry for those people. I mean, the opposite corner from us here in the state of Missouri, you know, I'm in the southwest corner up in the northeast corner, St. Louis. You know, they're, they got flooded bad. But anyway, you know, things are going to get tough. Uh... One of the big pork producers shut a big pork processing plant in California down because they can't get pork because of the new rules that the state of California enacted. These people are nuts. Uh, you know, I've mentioned it before. You can find other people talking about it. Lab-grown meat. I'm not sure that's exactly where they want it yet, but... The veggie burgers, of course, how long is the veggie burger going to last if we can't, you know, our, all most of our, most of our growing, our uh, crop growing processes in this country depend on artificial fertilizer. And we farmed all that out to Russia. And, you know, they're mad now. They're mad at most of the world. So they're not selling any fertilizer. Uh, diesel fuel, uh, that's, that's a byproduct of oil. This country runs on diesel fuel. Uh, it's, there's, uh, that's no exaggeration whatsoever. Renewable energy sources, the technology is not there yet. All of this goes into food prices. And they're going to get crazy. 
uh, if I if I would suggest, and it's just a suggestion. I'm not telling you you got to do this. You got it. No, it's up to you. I think you would be wise to do this. Order you some seeds. Get you some five gallon buckets. You'd be amazed at what you can grow in a five gallon bucket. We've grown tomato plants in a five gallon bucket. You know, give us 10, 15 pounds of tomatoes. You know, it's not much, but hey, it's what we didn't have to go to the store and buy. So, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what to tell people other than that. You know, prepare. Get as self reliant as you can. If there's any way possible, get out of debt. You know, find friends that, that grow things. You know, barter may become really, really big in the near future. You know, it's, you know, develop some skills that you can trade for food. You know, I don't know what that would be, but figure it out. You know, computer skills, uh, you know. You know, whatever. Just you know, you're gonna have to figure something else, something out to trade. And I know, and I, I've tried to keep this channel as non-political as possible, except for the agricultural stuff. But the, the the our current government in this country, yep, they'll step up and try to help us. But where do they get their money? Oh, get out of my eggs, kitty. Where, where does their money come from? They don't do anything to create money. All they do is leverage a tax, level a tax on you and take your money. I mean, honestly. You know, I, and I think the, the role of the government on the federal level is to keep us safe from foreign invaders. And, you know, protect our rights. It's not happening, they're, they're looking to take rights. But anyway, I could go on and on about all that. And if you know me, you know I will. Uh, so, bottom line, it's not too late. Cat just learned that uh, you can't climb up a, a steel and ceramic table. Anyway, like I said, the bottom line, one, it's not too late to grow things. I mean, we've got tomato plants we just put out. Earlier in this video, you saw some corn, I think, that I just put out a week ago. I mean, it says it... it have a crop in 60, 70 days, so, you know, we definitely got 70 days for the first frost here. We've got tomatoes here that we just put out the 1st of July. They're doing really good. Get out of there, cats. I've got some, uh, some special tea I made up, a little chicken poo and some grass clippings and water. Let it set and ferment, and then we feed it to the tomato plants about every other day. Uh, Rhonda just planted some uh, cantaloupe from a cantaloupe that she bought from the store. They're growing great. I'll show that here in a little bit. You know, as they say, the best time to start is now, or the best you get it to start. But if you can't, then Find somebody who can or has and get to know them, you know, right now, buy from them. You know, they're, they're people that are right here close. You go buy something at Walmart, yep, it does help the local economy. There's no getting around that because, you know, they hire people here. They don't bust people in every shift. So, you know, it does help. But if you really want to help, Find you a local farmer that's growing vegetables and buy some vegetables from them. Uh, there's there's farmers markets all over the place. 
it costs a little bit more or it used to I don't know I know that uh, my if, if I was to sell by the cut 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 if I was to sell my meat by the cut say pork chops sausage bacon all that I can just almost compete with uh, with with Walmart now just because they don't have it you know plus I have a better product and it's it just is you know if you can get any kind of meat that came from an animal that lived its life on pasture in the sunshine and and eating grass like or yeah grass or whatever their their body is designed to eat it's going to be better for you than these confinement operations and these feed lots you know and if you run a feedlot or a confinement hog operator, chicken operator, I, I'm not bashing you, but I got a better product. So, you know, and you know it as well as I do. And of course, I'm not bashing you because that's how you make your make your living, you know. And that's the system has for the last what 60, 70 years been going that way but I think we're in for a change so you need to be finding people that you can can barter with you know find something you know if you can sew you know people are going to need blankets they're going to need clothes they're going to need all kinds of stuff and I, I think we're going back to more of a local market in the future and with that, I'm going to wipe this, I'm going to wind this up. Uh, go in and figure out what's on my nose. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, there's a space below there. You can leave a comment. Otherwise, hit that like button. Subscribe for more of this, this type of content. So until then, let's look out for each other. Let's help each other when we can. And let's pray. Later.